Let's look at some of the oxidative stress markers from the NutriValve. You see glutathione at the top here at 1,632, a very strong antioxidant and phase two detoxifier. Lipid peroxides and 8-OHDG. Liquid peroxides from urine, uh, as well as 8-OHDG from urine, are really important markers in the sense that they represent measurable oxidative stress damage when they're elevated. And when I say elevated, remember the green and yellow combined are the reference range. But there are times you want to be in the green. I hold that to be true for glutathione, but also for the lipid peroxides and 8-hydroxy-2-deoxyguanosine. When they start to wander to the right into the yellow, that would be measurable oxidative stress damage, and the need for various antioxidants will come up on the first two supplement pages of the NutriVal. And then we have the CoQ10 as well. That leads us to the elemental markers, the nutrient markers, the nutrient elements, which are copper through zinc, and you can see various blood sources, copper from plasma, magnesium from the packed red blood cell, etc. Uh, the yellow is the width of the reference range, and the green is the heart of the reference range, that one standard deviation. To the right, the toxic elements are all measured in whole blood. So you can see that there is an increase in mercury. You'll often see this in patients that have fish as part of their dietary intake. Sometimes we see this in patients that supplement with fish oils that may have some mercury contamination. So let's look closer at the nutrient elements. They're directly measured in plasma, red blood cells, and whole blood as indicated. The direct measure is not the only factor taken into account for dose recommendations. This gets us right back to the first point, the principle of direct measurement as opposed to a functional recommendation. You see the magnesium here at 38.9. It looks just fine as far as being measured directly, a direct measurement from a reference range. But sometimes when you look at the supplement recommendations, you can see a direct measure like this that looks fine, and yet there'll be a yellow or red high need for magnesium. And that's because the algorithm certainly gives the most leverage to the direct measure of magnesium, but will also take into account other markers on the test that require magnesium as a nutrient cofactor. So the algorithm will give direct measurement the most leverage, but other analytes will also have weight in the final recommendation. Toxic elements are measured in whole blood. And the findings provide insight into exposure to toxics. Here are our key points. Lipid peroxides and 8-OHDG reveal measurable oxidative stress damage. Toxic elements specifically measure exposure. The algorithm for nutrient elements takes many analytes into account. Thanks for listening. I'm Stephen Goldman, a medical education specialist at Genova. And I'll see you on the phone.